spring. I just came back from work. It's sunny outside. Spring has finally arrived in Vienna and I just felt like vlogging. I don't know what exactly I'm gonna be vlogging, but bear with me, okay? First of all, maybe a little bit of an update. So if you've seen my Q&A, you know I've just mentioned really quickly that I have been having a couple of like really busy months. That's mostly due to the fact that this is my official last year. So the last official year of my PhD and it's just everything is coming together like I now have all this data to analyze from different smaller projects and I just have so much on my to-do list of completely unrelated things that I have to structure it somehow in my head so that I managed manage to finish stuff because what's happening or what was happening at some point was that I was doing a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of that and then I could never finish anything and it was creating a lot of frustration inside of me because I had all these to-do things in my to-do list and I could never scratch them off because I was doing so many other things at the same time that in the end I was just not being productive. So now I've finally managed uh, to, I finished a couple of things that were taking most of my time and now I managed to kind of create a schedule for my mind and I hopefully now that I can start really being productive. Okay, so now um, here is my office. I'm in the office now. This is uh, my bed or my our ex bed because we bought the wrong mattress and uh, because we are rich like that instead of just ex like returning the mattress, we just bought a new bed. Okay, <laughs> makes total sense. But uh, yeah, we just bought a new bed because uh, a new house and we thought this bed is old anyway, so we can just buy a new one and a nice one. I just came home, so I'm not gonna write work right away. I think I'm gonna read. I've been reading so much this year, people like insane. I used to read a lot like back in high school and then when I started university and then throughout my university years, my reading just decreased because whenever I was reading, honestly, I was studying and whenever I read, I would just read like really dramatic and hardcore stories. Um, and those stories normally I cannot really binge read, binge, binge read. I would read maximum in a really good year, like seven books, six books or something like that in a good year. And this year I've already read 13. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> and most of them fantasy books because I have not, I, I, I stopped reading fantasy completely at some point during my university. I just completely stopped, lost interest, I don't know. But last year or the end of last year when I started getting really stressed, I just wanted to immerse myself in another world. And watching series was not really doing it for me because what happens to me when I watch a lot of series is my brain goes numb which doesn't really go together with having a lot of work to do that requires your brain. So I thought, no, this is not working. So I decided to start reading fantasy and it just reminded me how much I love it. Yeah, read, chill on the couch. I was going on and on about fantasy, but actually the book I am reading now is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas, I think Angela Thomas. And it's really good and I highly recommend you guys read it. Okay, it's a young adult contemporary novel but even if you're not young anymore and you're an adult, I still recommend you read it. It's really cool and I think everyone should read it. So I am in no way presentable right now to film and the light is horrible, I know. But a paper in which I am second author has just been published in Nature Communications, which is a relatively good journal to have your paper in. So I am very happy, I am very proud, and here it is. Just want to show you guys. Look. There it is. It's my name. Can you sit it's there? Basically, science is a scientist success, more or less, and oh, I apologize for all the noise of my washing dishwasher, but basically all the success of a scientist and like the prestige of a scientist is kind of measured by your scientific publications, where you publish, how many, and the quality, and all those things. And for my PhD, I have to possibly write at least three as first author. So far I have none, but it doesn't matter, that doesn't matter. Uh, this is the second one in which I participated, but I did not 
write the paper, which means I participated in the research and I contributed significantly for the research and for everything that had to be done to achieve the results we did, but I was not the one behind the project or and not the one writing the paper. Just to give you a very brief summary about what it is, I will link the paper down below in case you are curious in reading it. So we are all made of carbon, right? All living things are made of carbon. And there's also a lot of carbon floating around in the ocean in many shapes and forms and sizes. Um, and there's something called dissolved organic carbon, which is the carbon which is dissolved in seawater, in this case. And what we wanted to understand is if the this in, huge increase in plastic pollution that has it, that is entering the ocean every day will have an influence on the carbon, on the, this dissolved organic carbon pool, especially in areas where there is a huge or a very large accumulation of plastic. And uh, additionally, we wanted to understand if if there in fact is something leaching from this from the plastic into the water, if it would affect the microbial communities in the seawater, which are basically responsible for life <laughs> or for a lot of processes that allow life on earth let's say it like that so we wanted to understand also how light or solar ra solar radiation or the sunlight would influence this kind of leaching or release of carbon from the plastic into the seawater um, and what we found is that yes there is carbon leaching from the plastic into the seawater and in both under both dark and light conditions and this release of either the carbon or anything else that might be released at the same time from the plastic in parallel into the seawater we realized uh, it does have an impact on microbial activity on bacterial activity we did not know how it really it's how how exactly it's affecting the microbes we just found out that it is affecting their activity we don't know which ones are being affected and in which it which way but this kind of opens the door for new studies looking a bit more on to which organisms will react in which way also opens the door for us to try to understand what is it in the plastic that is actually influencing or having an impact on these communities because plastic is not only composed of carbon and hydrogen, which is normally the backbone of plastic, you, and other plastic types then have some uh, extra side groups, but that doesn't matter for this now. Um, but there's also a lot of other components that are part of the plastic structure, um, namely additives, which are added during the manufacturing process of the plastics to just increase their durability or their performance overall. Many of these additives are actually known to be pretty harmful for humans, uh, like BPA for instance, uh, you just write BPA or it's bisphenol A on, on Google and you can like be afraid to ever touch plastic ever again, like your computer. I wanted to like vlog the moment that I've seen it and so that's pretty cool. I'm happy, now I'm gonna go do something. It's Sunday, just a second ago was Friday when I uh, was just talking about that the paper came out and everything. Uh, and I will think I'll, I actually think I will end this vlog here. Um, I just wanted to tell you, I tried today for the first time something called bungee yoga that I did not even know it exists. I do yoga a lot, I try to do it at least four times a week, and especially if I am the whole day sitting down, or if I'm just specifically having pain somewhere, which, ha which happens a lot if I'm the whole day sitting down. Um, and a friend of mine just told me there is this thing called bungee yoga and she was going to try it and I decided to join her and another friend of mine and <laughs> it was so much fun. <laughs> oh, I've just noticed that only the, the, my face is not focused, the background is focused because this light in this room is absolutely horrible to film. Um, with this, I think I've decided to make a video, one of the next videos probably, Talk not about marine stuff this time, but talking to you a bit about how I actually deal with the stress of my PhD. One of the one of the ways I do deal with this is through exercise and yoga and meditation. And I was one of the huge, the biggest yoga scepticals out there. Now I've completely surrendered myself to the power of yoga. Yeah, I, I, that's a video I'm gonna make soon. All right, just want to share that with you. My boyfriend is currently making some pizza. 
which I'm really excited to eat because, you know, Sunday pizza day, that's our thing. And uh, now I've, I'm going to write a bit on a paper where I will be the first author, so I'm writing a bit of that. And then I think I will just chill because uh, tomorrow is Monday and so another crazy week starts and I want to have a more chill evening. I just want to finish this vlog by saying that I really do not know how to finish videos. Like I officially am horrible at finishing videos. I, would, I, I said like three different lines to try to finish the video in when I was like in the last take or whatever that I was filming and, and it's like have a great day. Bye. See you in the next video. <laughs> like, what the? I, I, I don't know what I am doing. I really wish to see you in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe, you know, if you want to see more videos like this or something other related to my channel. And to like the video if you liked it. And write something in the comments if you want to write something in the comments. And uh, see you. And have a great rest of time. Bye. <laughs>